You know, there are certain times when you go into journalism school and you have to interview a bunch of politicians and cops and you're like, why did I enter this field? And today is the reason why I got into journalism. I am with the girls from So You Think You Can Dance Canada Season 2. <laughs> Probably the greatest job in the history of my entire Obviously. life. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Clearly. So let, let's start by asking what the biggest change was for you from going from the show to the tour. Um, it's less stressful. We just get to have fun and perform. So it's definitely completely different for the show, but I think we're all having the time of our lives yeah. on tour. Yeah. Do you prefer like maybe the show to the tour? Is there a preference that you have or is it all the same thing? Oh, well, they're so different. I actually personally prefer the tour just because right now there's no stress, no competition, and we're all just loving traveling together and dancing together on stage. And, and what is it like sort of traveling with these guys that you haven't really, like, hung, I mean, you didn't know them a couple of months ago, and now you're, like, basically, <laughs> like, on the same bus, like, yeah. you know, so so what is that like? Traveling with the guys is not that special or different. Like, it's great. <laughs> like, I know it's that special, but it's, it's fine. Like, they're, they're part of our family. It's not like girls versus boys. We're all on the same bus, whereas mm -hmm. I think with the American tour, the guys had a bus and the girls had a bus. Right. So yeah. that was different. We're all on the same bus. We each have our bunks, and they're like our friends. Mm -hmm. They're like brothers to us. So. Yeah. Do you have to share the same bathroom with the guys? Um, today we do. For yeah. some reason. Yeah. Because the, the good dressing time. room is, uh, yeah, it's a mixed First one today. <laughs> but usually, no, we're, we're good. We have our own room, too. We have hotels room, uh, hotel rooms when we get to different cities and stuff. So we do we get our privacy, you know, and then once we get on the bus, then we all share. Yeah. How, how, do you, how do you sort of, like, go from this show where you're, like, competing against the other girls to so now, like, you're living together? Is that kind of weird? It's like, you know, well... I hope maybe she injures herself because boom, oh then I can God. get it, you know what I mean? No, it was really never like that. It, like, I think for any of us, it wasn't really a competition. And I think we all agree with that. Yeah. It was more like you have a routine that you need to learn. You learn the choreography, you try to do your best, and then you just, I don't know, if people like you or don't like you, if people will vote for you or vote, you know, it's it's all about the voting and it's all about like you doing your best every time you go out there. For, for, so for me, it wasn't really a competition. Mm -hmm. So then when we got here, it was kind of just like, a it's reunion. fun. We, it was a reunion. We can all hang out. We can all be together. And I think we're having a great time. So, yeah, it's fun. This is not like a typical reality show. Because when you go on Survivor, Apprentice, Big Brother, you're not really, like, relying on somebody else. It's like, all right, got to vote everybody off and I win. But here it's, like, weird. You have to, like, rely on a partner. If he drops you during the lift, I mean, you both could be gone. So is that yes. is that weird? Uh, yeah, because, I mean, you don't know the person so well. So you have to fully trust that person. And you don't. Like, mm -hmm. you just started dancing with them. So it's true. If you get dropped, like, it could be your fault too but then your votes are down and the judges comments aren't going to be good but after a while like towards the end of the show you really trust them and you have to have positive thoughts because if you're negative you never know what could happen so is there ever a time where like you finished a performance on the show and like you know you were like hey you didn't hold me properly there you know like i'm not dancing with you again like did that ever happen <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> so it sometimes happens that way. But, I mean, we all try to just go out there and perform and just do our best. And I think once we're done, really, the thought isn't, like, what went wrong. It's sort of like, oh, my gosh, thank gosh we're done that. <laughs> right, like, right, it's right, more right. of a relief. So, yeah, but for the most part, I think we all really got along with our partners and everything turned out really well. Do you like the randomness of, like, sort of how the partnering is? To, like, would you prefer to go in there and say, hey, I want to work with Vidsan. He's hot. Like, Nico, like, all the girls last year wanted to dance with Nico because that's, like, a guaranteed <laughs> way of the finale. So is, yeah. was it like that? <laughs> Um, no, not at all. Well, I had Vincent. Vincent was my partner, right. so it definitely was an issue for me. Um, I was really happy to have him. And no, I think there's pros and cons to everyone. And, like, sure, like, before we got, like, our partners were selected for us, like, we, I don't know, I guess we kind of, like, hoped, but I think if... Oh, oh, so you did hope. No, I think we all kind of looked around and wondered what it would be like, right. but it also really depends what style you get. Because yeah. I could have Vincent and get hip-hop and jazz funk every week, and that wouldn't have gone very right, well. Right, right. Um, and vice versa. So, no, I don't think there's any, like, real benefit to either. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you about Emmanuel, because, you know, they, they do this on Canadian Idol, too. They had a guy from, like, the Moffats come on, and everybody was like, wait a minute, he already has an album. Like, what is this? And, and everybody kind of knows Emmanuel yeah. from the skating and stuff, so... You danced with him a lot. Yeah. I remember you did the magician routine. So was he just like one of the other dancers or were you like, oh, he's the golden boy? Like everybody already knows <laughs> his name. No, I don't boy. think so. Obviously, I think he actually had a lot more pressure than everyone mm -hmm. else because people know him from skating. So I think he had a lot of pressure and people were expecting to see, you, you know, you're going to do well in dance as well. So, uh, But he's so positive when it comes to that. He doesn't read the blogs, doesn't do anything like that, just focuses on his dance and what he has that week. So it went really well. 
Yeah. This this is a very sexy show. I think that that's why guys watch this show. And you know, I know guys that are like, "Wait a minute, I love so you think you can dance." I'm like, <laughs> what, "Are you serious?" I'm like, "That's a girl show." That's okay for yeah. a guy to love so you think you can dance. <laughs> so, so, so it's like, are, are, does it get like weird for you ever where they're like, "You have to wear this for this dance," and you're like, mm-hmm, I, "I don't, I don't really want to try that on," you know? Or is that just like part of being a dancer? I don't know. It is a part of being a dancer. You do have to go out there and perform uh, the same in your rehearsal clothes as you would in a costume where you're a bit more revealed revealed right, right. <laughs> yeah exactly so i mean but they were really nice with us like especially on the like on the show i find if there was something that you weren't as comfortable with they try to you know they'll never try to make you look bad they right. always want to make you look good right. so i mean whether you're wearing a mambo outfit that's falling apart or you know something no but for me it was just i don't know you just go out there and you perform with the best you can I, they try to you know they obviously it is a show it is a tv show so we have to look really good on camera. Yeah, like if you're wearing some like '50s dress, I can't yeah, see people. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna. Go, yeah, I'm not gonna go out there and do the dance hall in a yeah. snowsuit. Yeah. But uh, yeah. but no, it, I loved my costumes. I really liked them a lot. I thought that you know every week it was uh, it, it suits the style. Lines. Right, right. And and you guys get to pick them, or does the choreographer do it? Um, the choreographer helps, but it's definitely wardrobe. They pretty much design like what they're gonna do, and they make it on you. So of course it's gonna be something that's gonna fit your body well. Um, it's probably not going to fall off. I've had a couple incidents where right. I just about had nipples, but um, other than that, they've been great and I miss the wardrobe from the show, but the wardrobe on the tour is amazing too. Mm-hmm. On on Canadian Idol, you know, they don't really like dance with each other, they sing against each other and people still hook up. You know, it, it's mind-boggling to me. So on this show where like you're dancing with a guy, he's like holding you up, is there a lot of like romantic tension that we don't see on the bus? Um, <laughs> no, not really. We kind of are all just really close, we're all just friends. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, obviously, that's part of acting. That's part of being a dancer. Right. You have these numbers where you sort of put on a character. Mm-hmm. And it's sort of just going into the dance and being a character. So there's no real romantic tension because we're all just sort of acting. How, how hard is it to, like, flip the outfits on the tour? Because on the show, I'm sure you wore one, and then, you you know, a couple of other people would dance. And here, it's, like, group performances. It's everything. So is, is the changing hard? There are a lot of quick changes, um, especially for not myself so much, but there are for... Well, almost everyone, mm-hmm. and yeah, I mean, it's quick, but we have helpers backstage, and it goes smoothly, so. Okay, so I, so I take it back. Maybe this isn't the best job in the world. Maybe the helper backstage has the best <laughs> job in the world. Um, <laughs> and, and so I, I have to, like, turn it over to you and yeah. ask you about, Vincent, are you dating? Well, what's the deal here? <laughs> G- give, me the, give me the juice. Give me the reality dish. Um, yes, we are actually dating. And and did that happen like did that did that happen during the show or was it on a tour thing? Um, a little bit. We we were both really focused on the show, so we didn't really want to start anything, and we weren't sure if our connection was just because we were dancing together. Um, so we hung out after the show, and we still liked each other, so it was really fun, and he makes me really happy. So. And that's awesome. And and what about the rest of you? What what about the other guys? Come on, Melanie. Like you and Everett, is there something going on? <laughs> You know, you can, you can give it to me straight. Give it to me straight. <laughs> no, no. Everett has a girlfriend. Yeah, Everett, Everett has, has a girlfriend. girlfriend. Okay. Everett is yeah. really happy to be in Toronto right now. Yeah. So, 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 so Tara Jean's the only one, right? Yeah. yeah. I think you're just saying that. <laughs> All right, and my last question is, why should people see this tour? For me? Yeah. Um, well, I mean, for fans, it's a great opportunity to see, kind of celebrate the season that we had. We picked our favorite routines. Well, we didn't personally pick them, but the favorite routines were picked. And, I mean, you also might get to see something else that you weren't able to see on TV. And there's a little bit of dialogue, so you get to know us a bit more personally. And it's just like a great celebration of the entire season. Yeah. And, and one reason why people should see this tour. It's just you get to see it live. You get to feel it with us. We're right there on stage. We're right next to everyone. We feed off the crowd. So mm-hmm. it's just an amazing feeling. And no, you know, long talking of the judges and stuff. Let's cut that out and just lots of dancing. Yeah. So do we do we get to see the magician routine? Yes or no? Yes. All right, that's a yes. That's a yes. <laughs> Why? <laughs> why? Why should people see this tour? They should see it because I mean, it's very rare that you get the opportunity to, you know, to know a dancer's personality and to see their dancing. I mean, you're gonna get to see us perform, like like Kim said, like you get to see us up close and personal. You know, like it, I don't think you get to see that much on TV because there's so much more going on on the show. And now it's like, I don't know, you get to know us. So it's good. <laughs> and are you the best girl dancer like a mid like Canada voted for? <laughs> no, I'm definitely not. I mean, it's Canada's favorite dancer. It's not Canada's best. And um, and we all feed off each other. I mean, I learned so much from them. And I think people should come see the show because it's all different styles. Like, you go to see a ballet or whatever, but you have, like, ballroom. You have hip-hop. You mm-hmm. have everything. So why not come see the show? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, I am off to see the show. I will let you know how it is. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and the last thing that I need you to do is all at the same time just say, listen to Mertz on Virgin Radio. I'll listen count it down. Mertz okay, here we go. Yeah. Radio, okay. Let's see if I can get you all in. Okay. A little tighter, Tara Jean. Yeah. Maybe lean in. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. One, two, three. Listen to Mertz on Virgin Radio. Perfect.